A warm welcome and holy greetings on this eighth day of the Novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe. I am Sister Marie Versati. I am Sister Mary Vincent. And I am Sister Catherine Teresa. We are the Dominican Sisters of Mary Immaculate Province, located in Houston, Texas. By the grace of God, our province was founded in 1978 within the Archdiocese of Gaveston, Houston. Starting with 13 sisters, we have gone to more than 100 sisters, teaching at 24 different schools in Texas and California. We are a preaching order, endeavoring to evangelize for the glory of God and the salvation of souls. We have sisters who live out this charism in their nursing field, but primarily our apostolic is teaching, teaching little angels from early childhood stages all the way up to young adults in universities. Today we are standing in the narthex of our provincial chapel, Our Lady Queen of Preachers Chapel, the patroness of the Order of Preachers. It is a great joy and blessing for us to journey with you as we share our devotion to Our Lady. Please join us now as we enter the chapel, the area where all of our sisters gather daily to pray for all those who have asked for our prayers and of course to glorify God in all that we do and in all that we are. Let us together begin the novena with the memorare of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Remember, O most gracious Virgin of Guadalupe, that in your heavenly apparitions on the Mount of Tepeyac, we promise to show your compassion and pity towards all who, loving and trusting you, seek your help and call upon you in their necessities and afflictions. You promise to hear our supplications, to dry our tears, and to give us consolation and relief. Never has it been known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly to you, O Mary, ever Virgin Mother of the True God. Though grieving under the weight of our sins, we come to prostrate ourselves before you. We fully trust that, standing beneath your shadow and protection, nothing will trouble or afflict us, nor do we need to fear illness or misfortune or any other sorrow. O Virgin of Guadalupe, you want to remain with us through your admirable image, you who are our mother, our health, and our life. Placing ourselves beneath your maternal gaze and having recourse to you in all our necessities, we need do nothing more. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Amen. On this eighth day of the Novena, let us in thanksgiving pray for the needs of all Catholic female leaders, that each, in their work and in their lives, would experience the surpassing love of God and share it with the world as only women can. Let us together pray one Our Father, five Hail Marys in gratitude for the four apparitions to Juan Diego and the one to Juan Bernardino, and one glory be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Litany of Female Saints Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Our Lady of Alta Gracia, pray for us. Our Lady of Matara, pray for us. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Saint Bernadette Subiru, pray for us. Saint Bridget of Ireland, pray for us. Saint Bridget of Sweden, pray for us. Venerable Catherine Magami, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, Pray for us. Saint Claire of Assisi. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Blessed Chiara Madonna. Pray for us. Saint Dimchna. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth and Satan. Pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini. Pray for us. Saint Gertrude. Pray for us. Saint Gianna Moretta Mama. Pray for us. Venerable Henriette de Lille. Pray for us. Saint Hildegard von Bingen. Pray for us. Saint Jean Jugen. Pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc. Pray for us. Saint Josephine Bakita. Pray for us. Saint Kateri Tekitwitha. Pray for us. Saint Catherine Drexel. Pray for us. Saint Lucy Zenai. Pray for us. Saint Margaret Cortona. Pray for us. Saint Margaret Mary Alcock. Pray for us. Saint Margaret of Scotland. Pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina Kowalska. Pray for us. Saint Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us. Venerable Mother Maria Luisa Josepha. Pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Felicity. Pray for us. Saint Philomena. Pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima. Pray for us. Saint Teresa of Avila. Pray for us. Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. Pray for us. Saint Theodora Gurin. Pray for us. Saint Teresa of Lisieux. Pray for us. Saint Zelie Gurin Martin. Pray for us. All holy women. Pray for us. Amen. It was indeed a great joy for us to be here with you on this eighth day of Novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe. May the abundant graces of our God, interceded by Our Lady, be with you as you continue to discover and receive the gift that you are. Realize the gift that you have been given and respond with a gift that only you can give. Sending you all our love and prayers from the Dominican Sisters of Mary Immaculate Province. The Dominican Order, our main charism is to preach the truth through evangelization and most specifically through education. So the four pillars of the Dominican Order is prayer, community life, study, and apostolic. And these are all of the elements in our charism that helps build a firm foundation for us to complete our mission. I guess for me, the most fulfilling and most loving part of being in this um, Dominican Sisters of Mary Magdalene Province here is the community. 
I like to get to know my sisters on a personal basis and relate to them. And so um, keeping me firm in my vocation is, um, with my sisters. They inspire me, they motivate me, and then they also help me in my ups and downs. Without them, I don't think I would be who I am today. And I think um, being in such a community where everybody is heading towards one goal, one purpose, and one love for God, it actually helps in each other grow in our holiness. I've seen so many sisters who give themselves so selflessly, and then seeing that, I'm inspired in turn to be, okay, I need to go and I need to be as selfless as them and giving myself of my time, my energy, my effort. So I gotta say, it's very motivating. Our daily routine depends on our mission of what we're doing. Most of our sisters are teachers, um, elementary, high school, and so community life and apostolic life goes really together. It fosters our mission, um, and so being able to be close in relationship with God, we're only able to go from there into our apostolic life. You contemplate and you give to others, hand on to others the fruit of your contemplation. So as Dominicans, we truly believe that you got to um, have that contemplation, that moment, that prayer life with God first in order to be able to go and preach to others. And so they're very all interconnected. The aspect in the Dominican life that is most important to me is prayer. Because many times I go and I speak to young people, to many uh, audience, and I share with them about the love and the mercy of the Lord. But if I don't experience it myself, I would not be able to share it. I love spending time in prayer as the Lord gives me spiritual energy and spiritual food and experience and encounter Him in those moments of deep prayer and that I'm able to have His grace to come out to share. Looking at it in a retrospective view, I gotta say that everything is in God's divine providence. It happens at, as the time goes and in the perfect timing according to God's plan. If I said at this time right now, if I could change something, I would say, Yes, I would change this and I would change that, but knowing that everything happens according to God's plan, God's providence, I gotta say that it's, uh, I'm actually pretty perfectly happy where I'm at. Living here for a while, I realized that my life is meaningful when I give. So I'm blessed to be a Dominican, to be a lover of Jesus, and to continue to have that zeal to proclaim His love to the world for the rest of my life.